of the basics for painting. Um, so I took my ass to Dollarama um, and I pretty much bought a lot of other junk. Um, but I also got some of the necessities to give you guys some tips if you're interested in getting started. All right. So to start. pretty much went in and made sure that I got, you know, paint brushes and something to paint on. Um, so I have two options for paint brushes. There is this one, which is a pack of seven. It's got a little grip on there, comfy. Um, and it has, yeah, just a bunch of different sizes. You pretty much need to make sure you have, to start, a large, medium, small. You don't need a bunch of fancy, you know, like I have like, different brushes um but most of them are like relatively the same and i probably only use like 10. these are just like the extra of my immediate so you really really do not need that much like that's just me being a little art nerd okay um another option that you have is this artist series one that comes with a little i don't even know what that is because i honestly don't use it but these are the main brushes that I use. Like these are my favorites, even for like the sipping paints or paint nights. These ones are the way to go. Um, next, you would obviously need a canvas. Um, so I got canvas panels. There really wasn't much left. Um, the size that I got is pretty small. Um, these ones are six by eight. So you can obviously get whatever size works for you. It's just little ones are easy when you're just doing a lot of practice sort of thing um i have ones that are even smaller than that which would be like these ones um and they're good um they i wouldn't get it too small because then it's like a lot of detail and can end up being a little bit more complicated but i'm pretty much saying you don't need something like huge and big um not too big not too small just right you know what i'm saying okay um, so next, I didn't buy these at Dollarama, but you're pretty much going to need something to put your water in, whether it's like a cup. Um, this cup I got from Dollarama, I think it was like a dollar, dollar fifty or something like that. This is actually spaghetti sauce uh, can from Primo, and I just pretty much ripped the label off and I've been using it ever since. Um, yeah, honestly, anything that holds a little bit of water that's tall enough that when you put your brushes in, it won't tip over, you're good to go. Um, next, you would need a palette. So I got my palette from the art store, which is closed now. But that's a topic for another day. Um, so pretty much anything like kind of flat that you can rub a bunch of muck on, okay? Um, so I also do have these kind of, it's like an artist pad. I ripped off the cover, but it's pretty much like a palette pad. So they're like disposable pages. Um, but I mean, if you're against kind of the environment and things, like, you know, you want it to eco-friendly, that's the word, um, that might not be your best option because acrylics are not like oils, you can't keep blending. Like once it's dry, you pretty much can't use that space anymore because it will sort of pick up little pieces in there and then ruin what you got going on on the canvas. Um, so another option would be, they have them like this at Dollarama. Um, these are okay. I personally am not a fan. Like I haven't used this one for years just because it's not a lot of space to mix and I don't really, like I get the intention of the dividers, but I like to go with expression. I don't mind if things mix and I don't find these to be super helpful uh, with acrylics. If you're using ink or like watercolors, they're blessed. Um, another option would be, honestly, a container top. Like, this was handy dandy until I went on to my wooden palette. So, there's that. Um, next, honestly, the main thing that you would need regarding colors primary colors a blue a red a yellow so i have my red here oh, back. Uh, so my blue is here as well um and then i just have a yellow so your best bet in terms of the blue try to get like a darker blue because if you get a light blue like this you won't be able to mix the same kind of colors um and really if you have white and 
um, the color is lighter or darker. Like your best bet is to pretty much have the standard, right? Um, so with that being said, I'm not done with the paint, but I do have to touch on a little something. If you could get yourself one of these, um, a handy dandy pocket color wheel, you could also use Google. Um, but this is sort of helpful because it kind of drawing the attention to the viewer and yada 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 topic for another day again um but yeah so pretty much you would need your primary colors and then you would need white and black and i know i mentioned in the last video that i didn't have black i didn't get black this time they actually did restock but they only had particular colors so yeah so there's that these i would say are the main ones and then obviously having a dark one so say you don't have black you could also go for something like gives the effect of something dark um and that's pretty much like it you really don't need anything fancy when you're getting started because you're really just playing around you don't even know how much you're gonna like it um and you don't know where it's gonna go you know what i mean your best bet is to sort of just trust the process and go along with it i know these are dollar store colors or paints um but honestly as i showed you guys in that last video the colors turn out like pretty good the only thing i would say is that it does dry a little bit matte um but matte is not bad if you like matte makeup if you like matte nails um it's still cute okay so it's really not something to like raise your blood pressure over um there are obviously like other colors that you could also get um i mean like i had the purple i showed you guys the light blue um there's also like different kinds of greens that would like, I can do a color mixing video, um, but honestly, I'm so lazy sometimes. I just want a variation of different colors, and I kind of use the same techniques that you would with the primary and, like, mixing it with these colors just to give you, like, different hues and tones and, like, that kind of thing. So, I did get two different kinds of green. Um, I got leaf green and Christmas green. Very interesting color names. Um, oh, I also have hunter green. A lighter brown so this is burnt umber burnt umber is like a standard paint terminology for color whatever however you say it. Uh, and then this one is cinnamon brown never heard of it sounds real good looks good i'll take it again like i'm saying trust the process like for me it's all about what feels good to me intuitively like um and what just calls to me like and then i sort of roll with it from there and then lastly pink because that's just i'm having a pink mood this spring i don't know what's going on but i'm trusting the process um and yeah pretty much like other than that anything extra that you get is like i said extra you don't particularly like need it um there are other things that you can use to help you like a palette brush which would help with mixing honestly i don't really use that much i feel like they are a way to kind of sometimes when you're using the brush it gets a little bit sloppy and me up there but that's me trusting the process i'm kind of going with that dimension um thing that i constantly mention dimension thing yeah yeah it makes sense right okay but um yeah so that's pretty much it hopefully this video was helpful if you guys have any questions you can comment down below um and let me know if you want to know a little bit more about like color theory and that kind of stuff like let me know what you guys are interested in um so that i can kind of help you have a good time during this interesting time that has a lot of us feeling stressed mentally you know like
like my number one thing is just finding ways to help cope with different things it doesn't have to be this in particular but if this time that we get to slow down is a chance for all of us to sort of really re-engage with ourselves reassess like where our happiness lies like what feels good to us what feels doesn't what kind of calls to our soul type of thing like i'm all here for it so like i said leave some comments down below thank you so much for watching i hope that i was able to help um, and i will see you guys shortly